Welcome to Dialed on Fast Company, I'm Amber Mack. On today's episode, I sit down with Jane McGonigal to talk about the benefits of gaming at work and at play. I think it's important to realize that play is a state of mind that brings a lot of benefits in terms of creativity, optimism, determination. Instead of trying to leave that behind in childhood or young adulthood, that we should be trying to bring it with us. Now uh, let's talk a little bit about your own life and how you incorporate play into your own life. Uh, right now you have a mic on, you're about to go on stage, you're very busy, you're flying out to Miami later on this afternoon, you have a very hectic schedule. How does play help you? Well I try to think about all the goals I have in my everyday life as being part of a bigger game. Um, sometimes game technology helps with that, so like I wear the fuel band, the Nike fuel band, and I have my daily goal of how much activity I try to get because this measures you know, everything, dancing, walking, running, yoga, and so, you know, right now my fuel's at 736. So I have to get to 2500 by the end of the day, which is really hard when I'm on a plane. So you might catch me dancing in my seat on the plane or doing laps around uh, the airport, but I do that because I have a goal, and I know that there are people watching online to see if I hit my goal. So trying to bring some of that quality of, of having, you know, that clear purpose and being playful about how you achieve it, and bring that into real life settings. I follow you on Twitter and I notice a lot you do have these different goals that you do share with your community on Twitter. I think recently maybe you were cleaning out your closet, you had a goal of getting rid of a certain number of things. I mean that's very playful as well. So do you find having that community around you really helps that that playful experience? It is. I love Twitter. I think Twitter is the greatest massively multiplayer game in the world because I feel like most people on Twitter if somebody is on a quest, they want to help. And you're like constantly waiting to see that tweet where you know the answer, or you can make the introduction, or even just by you retweeting, you can help. And so I feel like it's this great MMO where we're all trying to help each other find the information we need or get information out there. Now, as a woman who's out there doing all these different things, you're traveling a lot, you're speaking a lot, uh, you're very well regarded in your space, do you find that there is that added pressure of kind of being perfect in that experience? Oh, that's funny. Um, I don't know. I hope I'm no. I mean, I hope not. I don't think anybody thinks uh, anything I've ever done is <laughs> even close to perfect. Um, I think there's definitely the feeling like you have to be, at least someone like me has to be positive. Um, and I have been trying to walk a, a, a finer line around that, where I can say, you know, I'm allowed to have critical opinions or um, get, you know, pissed off at the world occasionally um, just because you're an evangelist for a positive movement, you know, it doesn't mean you can't um, have, have a little bit of an edge sometimes. Of course, yeah. For people out there who do feel overwhelmed, they have so much to do in their daily lives and they do want a break. They want to be able to sit down, maybe play a game, incorporate some type of playful experience into their lives. How do you get them to make that mental shift? Because it is a huge shift for a lot of people. It is a huge shift to try to bring playfulness when you have frustration or boredom or anger or whatever it is. Um, I have found the most effective trick for just ordinary people to bring the playfulness in is to have kind of two sets of ideas in your mind at all times. Power-ups and bad guys. It's a very gameful concept. Um, you know, power-up is just something that gives you strength or energy. Um, my favorite power-up that works for almost everybody on the planet is looking at pictures of baby animals. You are more productive at work after you look at pictures of baby animals because of the positive emotions it provokes. And then you also keep your mind on the bad guys, things that get in the way. I know there are certain things like, you know, well, Twitter, you know, if it can be a bad guy for me if I'm trying to have focused attention. I just have to shut that window for an hour and, uh, and know that, that I'm gonna, you know, kind of escape that that mental distraction. So as long as you're kind of keeping that that way of thinking, there are things that make me stronger, and there are things that get in the way of my goal, and you're gonna fight one, and you're gonna you know grab as much as you can of the other, it's a really good gameful way to approach just real life work. All right, I think I'm gonna high five you since I think you're very playful, so. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Win.